Today we are going to tackle a task that I have continuously put off because it is a big undertaking and nobody wants to clean out their refrigerator, but that is what we are doing in today's video. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our mission and our community. So today, we are tackling my refrigerator now I will be honest my refrigerator is not as packed as you might think it is we do not have a lot in our refrigerator why because we only purchase during the week what we are going to eat that week I don't randomly purchase cereal I don't randomly purchase cookies that I don't intend to eat or the kids do not intend to eat because to me, if I do that and I just purchase way too much, y'all, and we don't eat it, that's money going in the trash can. So after years of thinking about it, we go every single week with a list and my husband and I started using the Wonder List app and I've talked about it in a favorites video and it has quickly become my favorite app to use. It is, and y'all, this is not sponsored by them, this is not a sponsored video at all, but I just want to tell you about this app before I get to it. So it is basically a list maker. So my husband and I, our phones are synced to the app. So anytime he adds something to the list, it alerts me. Anytime I add something to the list, it alerts him. If we purchase something, we can check off the box and it will tell the other person that, hey, Nathan's picked up milk. Hey, Nathan's picked up cereal. It is amazing and no more leaving my grocery list in the car or at home. So just want to throw that out there before we get into the refrigerator clean out. So in order to clean the refrigerator, you gotta take everything out. So what I'm gonna do is I need to take all of the shelves out, all the drawers out and everything because we are going to disinfect. So as I take everything out of the refrigerator, I am going to be paying attention to expiration dates. If it is expired, I'm going to dump out the contents. If there are any, clean the containers. If they're glass or plastic or anything that can be recycled, they'll go in the recycling bin. Anything else will go in the trash can. Also, any food items that we don't intend to eat, and may not be expired but have been opened i'll take the same process with that empty out the contents clean out the containers and either recycle or throw that container away then once all of that is done and i have only the items that i plan on keeping on the counter that's when the cleaning is going to take place so i'm going to remove every single shelf all the drawers from my refrigerator why am i doing that because the little creases on the side of the shelf if something spills it can get in that crease and create nastiness and bacteria in your refrigerator so for the first time ever I'm removing all of the shelves from the pantry to clean all the sides the back and the bottom of the actual refrigerator and to do that I am going to use a water and vinegar mix it's gonna be 50 50 vinegar and water and that is what I'm going to use to clean and disinfect my refrigerator and to clean it as my cleaning cloth I'm actually going to use a walnut scrubber from Grove collaborative because it's got two different sides so if there's something that won't come off of a shelf or off of the inside of the refrigerator I will use the harder surface to remove that and then just wipe it down with the softer side the sponge side of the walnut scrubber in the description below i will leave my grove collaborative vip link and if you're not a grove collaborative vip and want to become one you can click the link and it will give you 
free Mrs. Myers products and a free extra and free extra goodies when you place your first $20 order. That's how I got started on Grove. And, and keep in mind that I do make a little bit of commission if you use that referral link. You don't have to, but I just wanted to put it down there since the walnut scrubbers do come from Grove Collaborative. So once the refrigerator is cleaned out and the shelves are clean, I'm actually gonna go over them because they're probably still wet before I put the shelves back in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a paper towel and just kind of dry off the surfaces before I place the shelves back in the refrigerator. And here's the common question for today. How often do you clean out your refrigerator? I mean, disinfect, clean it, get expired foods out. I'm not meaning just organize it to where it looks decent to look at. I mean, really clean it. I probably need to clean mine out a lot more than I do, but I would probably say that I clean mine out every six months. What would you recommend as well? So tell me how often you clean your refrigerator and how often would you recommend cleaning your refrigerator? So once I have everything clean, we're gonna put everything back in the refrigerator. And here is the thing with me. I have seen so many Pinterest worthy refrigerators and I like gold refrigerators. Like I look at it and I'm like, I really wish my refrigerator looked like that. Look how organized and all the bins that they have. You guys, I have tried that and it just doesn't work for me. So I have just come to the mindset that if it gets all in there, everything's clean and stuff stuff's not falling out as I open the refrigerator door, I'm good. It does not have to be a Pinterest worthy refrigerator to make it functional. So that's what we're going to do. Everything's going to be placed back in there to the best of my ability. And as long as it clean, it's clean, it looks good, and I don't have any expired food in there, we are good to go. So let's take a quick look at my before and after and I'm so happy with how it looks now. It's clean. It's going to smell fresh when I open the door. It didn't stink to begin with, but come on. If you open the refrigerator and it smells even more clean, that's amazing. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to make me feel good when I open up the door every time to get in there. So now let's hope that my kids can keep it pretty clean for the next couple of months. And that is all for this refrigerator declutter and cleaning out video. I hope it has given you some motivation to tackle your refrigerator. I know I needed the motivation and filming this and editing it for you guys was definitely motivation for me to get it done. So you guys, I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content and they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with they plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time. Bye you guys.